This video explains the meaning of mission control in Mac. So for that, first of all, let us go to the system preferences. And over there you can see that there is mission control setting. If you click on that, uh, there will be a various settings related to mission control. As uh, they have mentioned, mission control gives you an overview of all your open windows terminals of your full screen applications and dashboard all arranged in a unified way. And they've also uh, given the shortcut keys over here. You can see that uh, to launch the mission control, you can use this control key followed by arrow key, up arrow key. Then uh, to op or view the application windows, you can uh, use the shortcut key. Control key followed by down arrow key. Then to show the desktop, you can use F11 key. Show the dashboard, you can use F12 key. Now I'm gonna press F11 key. Let us see what happens. And you can see the desktop is shown. Now let us uh, view the dashboard. For that, uh, let us press F12. And dashboard is shown. In dashboard, there are different widgets. You can see weather widget, calendar is there, calculator is there, and this uh, clock is also there. You can add or remove the widgets by clicking on this plus minus buttons down here. You can see the uh, left hand side and to go to the uh, main desktop screen you can click on this arrow key at the right side and we are back here and let us try to launch the mission control using this control key and followed by arrow key and as you can see at the top there is a dashboard there is desktop and there is an image capture there are three things over there to go to the dashboard just click on that one and you are here You can also add multiple desktop by clicking on this plus button. That's how you can uh, get a clear picture. Then uh, to navigate through application windows, you can use this shortcut key, control followed by down arrow. So that is how you can use this mission control uh, to get a clear picture of like what a dashboard is there, how many desktops are there in your Mac. Thanks for watching this video.